Claudia. So Christmas is almost approaching us and you cannot enjoy Christmas without a great ham recipe. So today I'm going to share with you my favorite way of making ham that is absolutely delicious. So let's get started. I'm using an 8 pound ham and my ham is already spiraled sliced which is the best ham for this recipe. If your ham isn't pre-sliced, you can easily use a knife to run slices through it and make it look just like this. So I'm going to prep my ham by sticking some cut up pineapples and cherries in between the slices. The ham is going to get amazing flavor from the fruits. And you're going to secure your ham with toothpicks so that it doesn't fall apart. Keep filling the ham with the fruits and be sure to push some all the way down because the ham has deep slices. You can stick some of the fruits on top of your ham and make your ham look nice and pretty. Alright, when you're done prepping your ham, you're going to place it on your roasting pan and cover it with aluminum foil. And you're going to bake this for an hour and 30 minutes in a 275 degrees Fahrenheit oven. So while this ham is baking, I'm going to start making a delicious glaze for it. I have some melted butter in a bowl and to that I am adding some brown sugar. Make sure your melted butter is pretty warm because that's going to help melt the sugar. Next, I'm adding in some honey. Dump it all in there and you're going to mix everything together until the sugar gets dissolved and it looks this nice and velvety rich. Next, I'm going to add the juice from my cherries and pineapples. This is all good flavor. I'm adding in some ground cloves. Cloves are really good for ham. And last, I'm going to add in some Dijon mustard. The mustard is going to balance the sweetness and give it a really nice tang taste. Mix everything together. So when your ham comes out of the oven, you're going to pour your glaze all over it. Make sure the glaze seeps into every single slice of the ham. So you're going to cover back your ham with aluminum foil and this goes back into a 275 degrees Fahrenheit oven for an extra 15 minutes and I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so when your ham comes out of the oven again, you're going to baste it very well with the glaze. And this goes back into the oven uncovered for an extra 15 minutes. And it's going to come out looking this beautifully caramelized and delicious. I like to garnish it and make it fit the season, you know, give it a nice Christmas look, it deserves that respect. And this ham came out so good, you know what, let me tell you how delicious this ham came out. It was super amazingly delicious, and that my friends is all I can say, until you make it, you'll never know. Don't forget to check out the description box for the recipe. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. If you ever try out this recipe, let me know how you like it. Also, be sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you never miss any of my recipes. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!